The fourth truth about social media. Lies are presented as accepted truth. People don't have to substantiate anything as truth that they post online. It could be someone we don't even know that's hiding behind the anonymity of a made-up identity on social media. These comments can cause irreversible damage to an innocent victim's reputation, even if there is not a shred of truth or evidence in what was posted. Used to be an old saying that people would say, well, they surely couldn't print that and put it in the newspaper or put it in an article in a magazine. They surely couldn't print it if it wasn't true. Sad to say, that does not apply to social media today. Fifth truth of social media. It conditions young minds to speed through everything. You know, we're so concerned today about what is the speed of my internet connection. And because everything is at such a breakneck speed online, people become easily bored by tasks that require extended time and thought. We live in a world where answers can be found immediately at the tips of your fingers, even if they aren't always reliable. People think, why would I want to take the time to read a lengthy book when I can simply just punch a few keys and get an answer in a few seconds? Or I can just say, hey Siri, and we even have devices now that will answer just about any kind of a question you ask it. And people are wanting that because then they feel like they can move on to something else that is more exciting, like a high-speed video game that makes me believe, wow, when I do this, I can conquer the world. A sixth truth of social media. It shortens their attention span. They are easily distracted. When people spend hours on end playing overstimulating video games where they can conquer any world uh, in a matter of minutes, why would they choose to slow their minds and relax with a good book? Especially if that book doesn't consist mostly of pictures. It's been scientifically proven that reading and playing games, not on your computer, but playing games on your kitchen table, or running around outside and interacting with live people on a regular basis, all of that will lengthen the attention span. Our children need to get outside and play with real people. I know of a couple that had a son that was like 10 years old, 11 years old. Mom and dad both had to work all day long during the week. They were at the point where they didn't have any place that they could put their, their son. So what they did was they said, you need to stay in the house, stay in the apartment, do not go outside. If anyone knocks on the door, you do not answer. And you can either watch TV or you can play video games on your computer. That's it. Do you understand? That's all you can do. He said, okay. He did that day after day after day. He ended up in the next seven, eight years, it got to the point to where even when mom and dad would come home, he didn't even want to go out. He just wanted to stay home and either watch TV or play games on his computer. So here he is. He graduates from school, from high school, and the rest of his life, even to this day as a middle-aged man, he is not doing anything productive. Why? His life was ruined. That's the only thing he knew. Sad. 
but it's true. Number seven, truth of social media. When you multitask while studying, you will not, and I emphasize not, retain the information. Focus is required for long-term retention. Many young people, and if we're honest with ourselves, adults also for that matter, have their phones or their computers open to social media with them at all times. They have music or some kind of a show blaring on as they are studying. And should their phone or their computer ping with a message, they immediately drop the book or notes that they were studying to make sure they don't miss anything. I, I've, I had to discover this in my own life. And so I I'd always make the excuse, well, I like to have background uh, noise, you know. But then I tried something. I turned everything off. Found out I could read the book and get more out of it. Found out when studying the Word of God that I was able to get more out of it. It's true, folks. When you multitask while studying, you'll not retain the information. The phone and the computer, if we're not careful, can become a leash that takes priority over anything or anyone else in our lives. An eighth truth of social media. It can negatively influence attitudes and behavior. The more time that a child spends on social media, the more they are exposed to the worst of human nature. What is the worst of human nature? Life without controls. That's what the worst of human nature is. They soon begin to think, I can do whatever I want, and I can do it whenever I want, out of control. The ninth truth, it desensitizes youth to e the evils of society. When they have a constant diet of uncontrolled conversations and uncontrolled emotions, when they are exposed to violence, impurity, and evil on a regular basis, they begin to see things as acceptable and normal reactions to life. You take all of the issues that are considered politically correct. Well, if our young people see things that are constantly saying, well, this is acceptable, but yet it's contrary to the things of God. After, after uh, too long, they're going to think that it is okay for that to be correct in my life. <laughs>